In Tableau's latest release, Tableau 10, we will get a whole bunch of new data connections. Um, in this video, I will take a look at one of these new connections. It's the Google Sheets connector. Um, in Tableau 9.3, we were already able to connect to Google Sheets. However, this was via a tedious uh, web data connector. Uh, in this video, I will have a look at uh, how you can connect to Google Sheets in Tableau 10. But first, I will have a look at um, how I did that previously in 9.3. So in 9.3, um, we can basically connect to a web, web data connector. Uh, when web data connectors were released, Tableau um, also released a web data connector for Google Sheets. So we basically um, connected to a web data connector. Click on uh, the link. You need this URL. It's the, the GitHub um, URL. Um, then you need to sign in or copy paste the URL to your Google Spreadsheets. Um, I have one data set I can paste in here. It's, it sits in this URL. And if I then hit connect, it's trying to connect, but um, my uh, Google Drive is, of course, um, protected by passwords, so we need to grant access. Um, however, uh, we're not going to do this because I want to show how you can do this in Tableau 10. Um, so if we shift over to uh, the PDF Tableau, um, we can now see that uh, you can connect to several servers up here, including the Google Sheets. So if we click on Google Sheets, um, Tableau will give you this login, uh, which you're probably familiar with if you use Google and Google Drive. Um, so if we um, give um, Tableau Desktop um, access to our data, we al allow to connect to it. Um, it will give you this new uh, login sheet. It looks a bit better than the Web Data Connector. You can in um, this text box search for your data, or you can um, use the list here. It basically uh, searches through your whole Google Drive and uh, looks for all the um, data files you have. Um, so in this case, uh, we're going to connect to a flight risk uh, data set. When you click on it, um, you can see when it's been last modified, um, by who, and you get a little preview of the data. So let's connect to it. And as you can see, it will open now. And it's been it quite quickly connected to it. So if we drag the data into the data pane, um, you can see I have uh, flight data. Uh, so these are all the uh, flight accidents that happened. Um, so let's have a look at the data. So if we, for example, show the fatalities in flight crashes over time, you can see we have data uh, ranging from 1993 to 2015. Uh, the big spike up here is 9-11. Um, so what I wanted to show you now is um, um, why at the Information Lab we um, we're very fond of uh, Google Sheets because we uh, use it as a, a great collaboration tool. Um, so if I now go to this actual data file on the server, on the Google Drive, I have it open here. Um, you can see I have all my data here. And if we scroll all the way down, you can see the number of rows I have is um, 439. Um, so if we then go to Tableau 10, you can see drag in the number of records. We can see I have 439 records. So let's um, hypothetically um, create a new um, accident um, and that happened today for example. So if we type in the flight crash date of today and let's copy the one below here change the number of fatalities to zero. It wasn't very, no one was in the airplane. Uh, change the country to the USA and delete that. So now we changed it and as you can see it's now all, all changes are saved in the drive. So if we go to uh, tablet 10 and um, we basically refresh our data You can see a new uh, record was added, so 440. Um, if we then go to our timeline, you can see 2016 has been added. Um, of course, this, this will bring a lot of new possibilities uh, for collaboration across the organization, 
wants to give access to this data to more people and people create their own uh, lines of data. Uh, thank you for listening to this video and hope um, you will enjoy it all the time.